Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. This is the beginning of season one where we are going to discuss layouts, uh, views to create a UI. Uh, the user interface of your application is unbelievably important. Not only do you have to convey the uh, content on the screen or the information or the action that you want the user to do, but uh, it's also probably the easiest and most obvious way to provide a sense of branding around your application, branding around your company, or um, you know, just the overall entity of the application itself. Uh, the Android system is built to handle this pretty nicely. Uh, there are material design principles uh, that Google pushes for as far as typography, spacing, a, sp a specific color palette, uh, and, and just a whole lot more that you should try to abide by and can utilize to really take your application from uh, an otherwise basic or simple application to something beautiful and, and elegant and obviously uh, well manicured, put together, and, and professional. So we will start small. We will have our beautiful Hello World uh, application that looks like this turn into something that looks like this. And if that worked properly, that was my, my first picture in a picture. So awesome. Um, but we're going to essentially enhance this UI to be something pretty simple, uh, but uh, an easy way to kind of go over this design palette here maybe even take a look at this split palette here um, to kind of show you how to build a UI. Because uh, really, once you understand one or two things, you can really take it from there and uh, rinse and repeat with different kinds of views, different kinds of layouts, uh, and, and accomplish anything that you really want. Uh, we are going to primarily focus this entire layout discussion and series uh, or channel on the constraint layout. Uh, I'm not going to dive too deep into it at the moment, but the constraint layout is just unbelievably powerful, has so many features that are just nine times out of, nine point nine nine point nine times out of ten exactly what you need um, and and it actually is well since its introduction it has uh, significantly improved um, screen rendering time and, and performance of layouts because we can keep them in what we call a flat structure. So more on that in a little bit, but I uh, hope you guys are excited. We will uh, modify the UI over the next few videos and then we will eventually dive into um, the main activity here, uh, understand a little bit about what's going on here, why this magical class is uh, displaying this layout and why that is the activity that is shown, what even is an activity, all that stuff uh, to come. So quite excited. Hope you guys are too. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks.